Hiro-san. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you. Mm. Let's show everyone what we have today in the studio. Take a look at this. Beautiful salmon again. Oh, yes. All the way from back across the Faroe Islands. Actually, I have a couple announcements to make. Hiro and myself will be traveling to the Faroe Islands. We've been invited by Back of Frost to go there. We can't wait to see them and see their operation and share with you what we actually see in the freshest salmon in the world. On the edge of nowhere, far away from everything else, farther than your wildest imagination, lie the Faroe Islands. A land lost in time, balancing on the edge of history, home to the Atlantic salmon. A hardy, robust breed, born from the waters of the islands. These small strips of land, holding their own against the weight of an entire ocean, against a strong, cold tide, filtering through the fjords, keeping them virgin and pristine. Like I said, we've been buying that salmon when Novi was open, over seven years ago. And let me tell you what, we were really enjoying their salmon and we're excited to go. And another great announcement, and you guys gotta pay attention to this one. Backer Frost is sponsoring a home-cooked meal by Hero. And so anywhere that you live within the 48 United States, if you win this contest, Hero and myself will travel all the way to you, wherever you're at, and Hero's going to make a delicious meal for you. So stay tuned for those details. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, also on Facebook. Information down below as you see. All right, son, let's open this up. we got a great video today. Sure. Oh, yes. Yeah. Take a look at this. Today's video actually here is going to show you how to scale off this fish because in our previous videos you guys have seen Hero uses a knife to scale off and he also has a special tool. So some people say well what's that what's that style called Hero? Skibiki. Skibiki right and what does that mean exactly? Skibiki. Biki is I mean like a go like this you know. Kind of like so a back and forth movement. motion? Yeah. Go squeezing up. Okay, kind of pushing away kind of or peeling off. shaving maybe, right? Yeah, so, like a shaving. so that's why we're going to do this, this motion, then taking peeling off like this, right. you know, so that, that's, that's okay. <laughs> I don't know it's exactly right. Or now, why do people in Japan do that? Because people always ask, every time we put a video of you actually scaling the fish with a knife, they're always so, asking, yeah, why course, do you do that? What's the reason? Of course, the first thing is that uh, your knife must be sharp, then also your skill too, mm -hmm. right? And also, uh, some fish, of course, uh, we don't want to get too much damage to the, in the meat. When you use this one, right? So you're going to do actually this motion. Actually, I'm going to do coming with this, this way. I go this way. But right. if you press it too much, of course, I'm not going to press it too much, you know. But uh, when you squeeze it many times as you do, of course, the meat will get a little... Because of, yes, because of the, the the meat is firm now, and if you do that, maybe it creates an unnecessary softness to the flesh, yeah. and you don't want you want to keep the meat firm as possible, mm -hmm. and kind of preserve it the way it came. Okay, that's, so that's hard about you know. Yeah, that's what you heard about, right? But do people in Japan do it because they want to practice their skills, their knife skills? Is that another reason why? Yeah, that's another reason why we do that too. Okay. Yeah. But right. uh, I understand in, uh, in the people, many people actually don't even take it off the scale. Yeah. You know, and uh, for, for these people, what's a ha ha, such a wasting time. You know, yeah, that's exactly. That's one step. I understand in that too. But, well, you know, um, every time they write in the comment, hey, how come Hero's taking off the scales? So then he's going to actually remove the skin anyway. Because what happens if you don't do that, there's going to be scales full all over the cutting board and it becomes a, a big mess. That's why Hero removes it. It's an extra step, but. Obviously, Hiro's been training in Japan for mm. so many years. 
and that's how they teach them. So no shortcuts. So I just want to take off the this sticky stuff. So. So you're going with the scales, not against the scales. Yeah, I just take a note of this. Right. Yeah, let's keep clean inside too. Just take a note of sticky stuff. Let's start uh, scaling off. So one side, this side, I go with the knife. The other side, I'm gonna use the scale. Let's start. Okay, so this side I scale off with a knife. So after I took off the scale, looks like this. Okay. All right, here. Okay, so I'm gonna do other side. I'm gonna use this one. So this one, you know, after you scale, start to scale it, scale is gonna spread in everywhere. So I just work with the inside of the box. Okay. Okay. And at the end, we're gonna see if it makes any difference in terms of taste mm. and firmness.
take a while. That's it. It only takes you uh, one third of the time, mm. and uh, hardly any skills. All right, huh? Okay, I want to clean then I'm back to the in the cutting board. Okay. Okay. Yes. Here was done yes. scaling or descaling, we should say. Now take a look at this. I notice this. This is a part that uses scaler. Mm -hmm. You can see all the scales are gone. But look at the way the skin is. It looks like almost the metallic part of the skin is still attached and kind of reflecting. Now here, can you turn around or flip around? Look at this. This side, it's all gone. And you got right below that part. Like the scale doesn't... When you remove the scales, it doesn't get rid of that part, but you use a knife. Look how clean and white the skin is. I wonder what this would taste like here. We should do a comparison with the salmon skin, you know? Salmon skin? Yeah, salmon skin. Probably no difference, but how it looks. Because look how white the skin is, right? Mm. You took the, uh, <laughs> the color of the skin off. It's all white. Yeah. Take a look at this. This is a part that used a knife. Look, how, look at the difference. So different. I don't know, of course. What about the texture? This feels this feels more rougher, you know, here? This feels rougher. Mm -hmm. Feel mm -hmm. that. Because you actually pulled the scales away from the skin right, right. and you feel the texture mm -hmm. where this is all smooth. First, I'm going to do a um, cut off the hip. up later. So next step, I'm going to take off the, the kama off, but uh, actually I want to cook the kama okay. itself. So I want to put a little bit of meat on the kama side. Maybe this much. No. I like this part, so. That's going to be a great meal. That's really popular. Color. Okay, now I want to clean up this, this area. Do first thing, take these things. Then the next one is about the, the belly, belly bone. You can leave this one on the, in, the, in the main parts, but uh, many places actually use for the very uh, meat for the special something to use it. So I'm gonna cut off the this part like this way. Yes. So uh, we're gonna make uh, something. That is the best part. 
My favorite part. So, salmon toro. Salmon toro. <laughs> yeah. Some people call it salmon toro. Yeah, I hear that. I see that all the time. Okay, next one I'm gonna take off the bone, this one. People love to watch you do this. Yeah. It's very satisfying for them. So now this bus I'm going to cut into the portion. Okay, so other side I'm going to take a uh, comma out. This side, I don't gonna go. I don't go cut this way. I wanna cut all the way, half first. Okay. Let's cut into the center, all the way. Why are you doing this? Oh, the, I use for different way to. Uh, I have a next to come in uh, four or five recipe. This, this way is more easy to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cut off this one here because uh, I'm gonna use this parts one of the recipe I'm thinking okay so I'm gonna use this one for one recipe and this one I can use for something else and this one uh, usually I do a skin off all the way uh, let me do a skin off first I want to know here how this meat is compared to the other one, you know? Right, right, right. right. This is the one that uses scalar. Uh, this side, yes. Yes. Oh, but, but, uh, this side is actually... Yeah, yeah, because that was the first side you did, that was... Yes, yes, this side was the scalar, yeah. Yeah, that one's with the, the scalar. Right. So we have to do a fair comparison. So this is the okay. top loin, right? This is the top part? This is a uh, belly side. The belly side? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I just want to make a sashimi, okay? Yeah, we want to compare the meat, if we can at all, see how it is. Yeah. Because, like you said, Hiro, people use it as scalar. The sc people use the scalar to say maybe it's going to be too mm. harsh on the meat. We're going to find out. Okay, this one is six piece on the very side. This one I'm going to do... Uh, This is from the, this is uh, actually back side and, and belly side together, so, so making a uh, uh, cutting first, like that.
pages so We are here to the tasting part. All right, go ahead. Okay. Which way are you going first? Uh, first I'm gonna go with the... Belly part or the knife? Yeah. Belly mm -hmm. part of the knife. Mm, this is back side, I mean. This is the belly side. Oh, this is the belly side? Mm. Okay. This is the belly side of the scaler. Mm. Okay, so now this one. Okay. <laughs> what a test. Mm. Very tasty. <laughs> Very tasty. Mm. What about the texture? Is one softer than the other? Can you taste anything different? Because these two are basically what we're comparing, right? These two pieces. Mm. I'm gonna try it myself. Mm. I'm gonna be honest, I can't taste the difference. What? No. This is not really. In terms of texture, the taste is the same. In terms of the texture, I don't, I don't feel there's a difference. Mm. You know that? To me, it's all the same. Uh, this one compared to that one is the same firmness. The fish is absolutely fresh. Mm. Today's Wednesday. We see the fish today, and it was harvested on Monday, two days ago. Came all the way from the Faroe Islands to New Jersey, mm. and then they sent it out uh, yesterday. We got it today, so this is as fresh as it can get. But delicious. I can't taste the difference. Absolutely not. So I don't know if it's a myth. Anyway, for salmon, to me, there's no difference. How you use scallop, whether you use it the scallop or the knife. Maybe you want to practice your cutting skills. I guess I can understand and respect that, you know? Mm. But in terms of quality of the fish and the texture of it, to me, it's the same thing. What about you? Yeah, you can see the result, right? Yeah, yeah. But in terms of the taste, the taste is the same, absolutely. Nothing different with the texture. Well, please comment below. Let us know what you guys think. Maybe it happens to other fish, you know, maybe more softer fish or I don't know, other kinds of fish, possibly. Uh, maybe it's a myth, a Japanese myth, a story that uh, they told you many, many years ago. <laughs> but to us, it tastes absolutely the same and delicious, by the way. Well, thank you so much, Hiro. Thank you. See you guys soon. Mm -hmm. さん、こんにちは。寺田寿司道場の寺田です。え、今回ですね、日本のサブタイトルを入れてですね、新しいチャンネルスタートしました。オリジナルのチャンネルはダリアリーズオブアムスター寿司シェフと言いますね。え、日